Well, guys, it is business as usual here at the complex tonight. In fact, a concert is going on right now as we speak. But we attained a federal indictment. It alleges that all of this was built with the money from the illegal sale of marijuana. The 13 count federal indictment filed last month, but unsealed Monday names Gabriel Elstein, his wife Angela Elstein, and Seth Dale Gordon. It alleges that between April of 2007 and December of 2013, those three conspired to distribute at least 2,500 pounds of marijuana. Our partners at the Salt Lake Tribune are also covering this story. One of the weird details in this in this indictment is that at one point they had um, the, the drivers were bringing back some of the cash. They had a million dollars in cash shrink wrap in the shape of the Empire State Building. Federal prosecutors say the marijuana was supplied by growers in California, then moved to Salt Lake City, where it was packaged and then driven to Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Illinois, where it was sold. The feds believe the trio made millions of dollars and used that money to build the complex in 2009. The indictment alleges the venue was built at a cost of $1.3 million, all of that coming from the illegal sale of pot. Not only do they want to charge these people with money laundering and uh, conspiracy to, to distribute marijuana, but they also, uh, you know, which, which could be a minimum of 10 to life, they also want to seize the assets, which includes seizing the complex. The indictment paints a picture of an elaborate scheme where the defendants kept two sets of records at the complex to launder money. One of those fabricated inflated ticket, concession, and merchandise sales while reporting fewer expenses. While this plays out in court, the complex will remain open, but if the government wins the case, it could take over ownership of the venue. We could be in the weird situation where the federal government is running a music venue and running rock concerts. And I reached out to attorneys for all three defendants and have not heard back. They were arraigned Friday and they were all released. This is set to go to trial in mid-December. Live in downtown Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.